Hi everyone and welcome to the final episode in our Shooter AI tutorial series. Prior to this we've been working on everything to do with uh, Shooter AI that you typically see in games such as like looking for cover, getting into cover, shooting from that cover, uh, detection th detecting threat and so on. And this episode we're sort of culminating all those together to get our final sort of uh, final product. So uh, join us now, we're going to go through uh, some various tweaks and fixes to get to the position that we want to get into. So without further ado, let's get cracking on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to start off using the uh, basic AI behavior tree, the one that's not it being aggressive, it's just it basically being idle. So in that limit AI, we have the run behavior tree set to begin play. We're going to change the behavior tree asset there to the enemy uh, behavior tree there rather than the shoot cover. And we're going to compile that and we can now leave that alone. Next job is we're going to go into that behavior tree and we're going to tweak the shoot task here. I've got your shoot task and at the end of where you do the start shooting, we're going to tell it to switch over to the, the aggressive behavior tree, which is it shooting from cover. So here I can do the, uh, sorry not from there, drag from the owner controller and then you can type out run behavior tree and we can now choose that shoot cover behavior tree there. Click and compile. Okay, so we can close that and we can close the behavior tree. So now when, we, uh, when it starts shooting, it will switch over to the cover behavior tree and carry on as such. The next thing we need to do is we need to tell it so when it's threatened to switch over to that same behavior tree. Uh, so I'm going to go to my enemy and in my enemy actor we set up a custom event called threatened. So now we can actually start using it. So this, uh, this node is called whenever it senses it's been shot at, whether it's a miss or a hit. Um, and with this uh, node we are going to get the AI controller. The controlled actual input will be itself, so just type in self. And the return value, we're going to drag out and do the run behavior tree. And you're going to choose your shoot cover behavior tree. The next job is we wanted to say where it's being threatened from. So we need to get the source of the threat. So with the custom event uh, selected, go over to on the right hand side where it says inputs and hit the plus to add a new parameter. This new parameter we're going to call uh, threat source and we're going to make that a vector because it will be a position. So to make him uh, turn and face that position where the threat is coming from we're going to do the return value out here and set the uh, focal point to that threat source. Hitting compile. Okay, so now we've got this threat source tied in, we now need to give that threat source a value. So we want to go to where we call that threat and that is going to be on the guns. And you'll see on the gun we have the threatened task here and it says the threat source is now available as a pin. And quite simply all it is is the out hit trace start plugged into it like so. Hit compile and you're done there. So that will make him now shoot uh, at us and look at us when we start shooting him and so forth. Next we want to say when we are killed we're turning off all the collision on the enemy. Because if we play this now and I shoot this dude, uh, da -da -da -da, shoot, 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 dead. I can walk and I get stuck on an invisible wall almost. That invisible wall is actually a char that character's uh, capsule, um, capsule collision. So we need to tell that capsule collision to be turned off when the enemy has died. So here we've got the when the enemy's died we simulate the physics for the ragdoll and we take it to stop the behavior tree. So here we're going to do two things. The first thing we do is drag your capsule component out and then from there we can set collision enabled to no collision. And the last thing we're going to do on here is drag this out and tell it to stop shooting. Just so it just stops pulling the trigger. We're going to hit compile, test our game. 
If I shoot at it, he'll now look for run for cover. Not very good cover, but you get the gist. Okay. And that is kind of it. If I put in more enemies now, we can see what it looks like with more enemies in there. one back here so forth and I can shoot this enemy here he'll call out his mates and they off they come giving chase and that's kind of it so what we've done here is have a very basic you uh, enemy AI they don't do much really apart from the bare bones um, and all of that stuff we've done can be tweaked and changed with slightly different figures, different layouts slightly to make the final uh, solution uh, unique to your own game. But that's all down to you. What I recommend you do is you take a look at what the lessons you've learned from this, take them away with you, and then you can start learning uh, how you can tweak and change things for yourself. So these are uh, great tutorials to start learning the intricacies of the AI system. So the more you know about how AI works, the more chances of you getting it to be exactly how you want it to be in your game. So that's the end of this series. Thank you so much for everyone for watching all these episodes. It has been quite a long one. And it's not the end of AI by no means. We will be doing more AI stuff in future. If there's a particular AI behavior you want to see done or explained, leave a comment below and uh, we'll get to it in due, in due course. I want a big shout out to all my patrons for supporting me and this channel entirely, including those top patrons for donating as much as they are. Big shout out, thank you to all of you for your massive support. Um, I really wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so thanks again. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, you can also hit the little notify bell to be notified with new videos up every week um, coming out as well as our live streams. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all guys next time in a brand new new series. Bye bye.